it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply. Leave the ones that do not. Remember that this may um, be pertaining to your past, your present, or your future. As well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started. I do hope that you all are doing well and feeling well on today. So, oh my goodness. Let's see what's going on, guys, okay? So, the first message you have here is hijack plane. Y'all, there might be somebody who tries to hijack a plane. Um, we also have here, you got to fight for your rights, okay? Um, somebody could be, oh, jeez. This is some heavy energy, honey. Um, either somebody who who plans to hijack a plane is doing so in an effort to like fight for their rights in some type of way. Um, somebody could be protesting something and decides to like hijack some type of plane. Okay. Um, oh, but this is this 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 says oh. My goodness. This has a, a emergency, caution, danger, terrorist attack. And then we have ooh, the current terrorist attack fell out here, okay? So we have hijacked plane. You got to fight for your rights. Terrorist attack, okay? So either the person, this person who plans to hijack this plane in this terrorist attack, either they're trying to fight for their rights, like they're doing it to like, stand for something or to uh, to protest against something or or either the people who the passengers on the plane may be trying to fight for their rights but this is i feel like this has to do with the hijacker this is a trip guys okay so we have danger disaster and destruction this is serious I wasn't even expecting this. Oh my gosh. What? What does election fraud have to do with? Oh wow. We have election fraud. Some This sits right up under you gotta fight for your rights. Somebody is going to try to rig voter booths. Um, somebody is going to try to take some type of stand to protest their rights by hijacking a plane to, to make a point. This is crazy. This may happen around... Uh, Sometime between now and election time, this person is is doing this because of election fraud, because of uh, rigged voter booths is why this person is doing this terrorist attack. This is very, this is obviously danger, okay? Something is going to end in a disaster and destruction, um, I'm trying to figure out is this thing staged is this person like under mind control and is going to be triggered to do this to make some type of uh, point in the election here because bottom of the deck we have here someone died under mysterious circumstances and need your help to solve their case here okay so somebody is going to die under mysterious circumstances as it relates to this situation here I split the deck we have abusing their money power privilege and authority to bully others into submission 
Wow. So these are two side notes here. Um, somebody could be being triggered to do this. And I feel like this person is going to get killed. People are not going to know. People are just going to feel like this person is just unhinged, has just, you know, flipped out in some type of way. But this person may be under mind control. This person may have been brainwashed. This person could be being triggered to do this. This could be a staged event. But something's going to happen. And this person may end up being murdered before anybody could talk to them, interview them, you know, and things like that or what have you. Something fishy is going on here because we have abusing their money, power, privilege, and authority to bully others into submission here. So this would speak to very wealthy, powerful people. This is, this is scary shit here, y'all. I wasn't even expecting this. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. So we're going to get some further clarification for this situation. Um, and see what else is happening here. So please give us clear and accurate messages as it relates to this situation. They're going to make it seem like, or or this person, um, is fighting for their rights in some type of way. There's definitely death that's going to occur here. This says endings, transformations, freedom here. Something is going to end tragically. Spirit, clarify hijack plane. Project plane, please, spirit. Project mm -mm. plane, spirit. There's a lot of money involved in a situation. Wow. Wow. They may use a woman to do this. Or this may be a woman to hijack this plane. If I see her again. So we have the Eight of Water here. The Eight of Water talks about, this says, um, uh, this talks about some type of shift, some type of change. So somebody is planning to hijack this plane in an effort to bring about some type of change. So to clarify, you got to fight for your rights. You got to fight for your rights. So we have the five of fire here. The, the, the five of fire talks about strife. Conflicts, annoyances, competition, jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, revenge. Spirit, clarify terrorist attack, please. Clarify terrorist attack. I just seen the two of swords. This tears, this hijack plane, this terrorist attack is is going to take place because of and I keep seeing a lot of money here. Something is being done for money. Uh, something is also being done. This terrorist attack has been happening because of some type of decision that's being made. Yeah. Two of air here. Hmm. 
the the two of air this is the two of swords in the traditional tarot deck so this can the on the surface it can speak to indecision avoidance or even confusion but at the end of the day somebody is making a decision here it's like that two of swords energy is somebody who's at the crossroads somebody who is soul to soul someone who makes in this situation a bad decision a wrong decision you know what i'm saying this terrorist attack is happening because of a decision that is being made, okay? And it's going to bring about danger, disasters, and destruction. There's definitely death that's going to occur. Spirit, clarify election fraud. There's a lot of money. A lot of money. Some type of election fraud is happening because of money. Clarify this election fraud spirit. Mm -mm. Wow. I see, I'm sorry for the long pause, guys. I'm trying to figure out why I see this. The Eight of Air. Has come out. Now, the, the Eight of Air, which is the Eight of Swords in the traditional tarot deck, can talk about self-doubt, confusion, free will. Uh, it also can talk about someone feeling stuck, restricted, unable to move. This is also the imprisonment card here. Somebody intending to run for president, some, something could happen where it's like there's, somebody is trying to do something to lock somebody up to prevent them from, being, from running for president or to have someone stuck. To prevent them from running from president or getting the presidency here, okay? This is the reason why so this person is fighting for their rights here, okay? This is the reason for the five of fire here, okay? Um, mm -mm. So can we get one more? This, mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. this is definitely, with rigged voter boosts, it's going to bring about a lot of conflict here. Okay? Mistakes, melodrama, reassessments, fighting, fussing, cussing, arguments, disagreements, misunderstandings here. Somebody is trying to have somebody stuck, restricted, unable to move, or even even have somebody uh, in prison so that they can rig the election, so that they could commit some type of election fraud. And this is going to send people in a frenzy. It's all hell is going to break loose because of this. And this is the reason why this plane is going to be hijacked because somebody is trying to is is like want to protest this, fight for their rights. Um, this is the reason why this terrorist attack is going to happen, but this is going to bring about danger, a very dangerous situation, disasters and destructions here, sadness, loss, disappointment and regret. Oh, this Are there any other messages? There's a lot of people 
in on something. There's a lot of swift, fast communication going back and forth. The Eight of Fire talks about speed, activity, multitasking. Um, a lot of communication going back and forth. Something is happening is going to happen very quickly, very fast. There's definitely a lot of going to be a lot of gossip, a lot of rumors, a lot of truthful, analytical, outspoken things that are are spake or or talked about or said. Um. I know who I, I know who I know who this is being done for I'm not sure who they're going to use to hijack this plane who they're going to use for this terrorist attack um this is this is um I do know that this hijacked plane, this terrorist attack, this, this, this is, uh, this person is American. This is not like a foreigner or, or, you know, someone coming from some other country or something like this person is American. So this is not a foreign terrorist attack. All hell is going to break loose about this. All hell is going to break loose over this election fraud and rigged voter booths as well. There are, there are, well, there are persons in power and authority who are collaborating together for the purpose of money. Some There are people who have put a lot of money on something here. People in power are putting a lot of, of, of money on something here. Somebody is manifesting this to happen. The magician talks about not only manifestation, but empowerment and preparedness. Something is being prepared for this to happen here. There's a water sign masculine and an earth sign masculine that's taking action. The one, some of the main persons who's behind this, as well as a large amount of money being put in behind this happening. They're trying to manifest something to go in their favor. I, f I feel like this is being set up. I know who this is being done for. But they're going to try to put this on this person. This is wild, y'all. I wasn't expecting this to come out. Spirit clarify hijack plane eight of water. 
So we have trust divine timing here. So something is happening in divine timing here. I thought it might be a feminine, but I'm seeing a masculine here as well to try to come out here. It's interesting because I'm sitting up here wondering with the two of air being here up under terrorist attack. This might be two planes that get hijacked. Spirit, clarify you got to fight for your rights. Five of fire. You got to fight for your rights. Some type of control tactics is being used on someone. Somebody, somebody, uh, who, who, whoever these um, supposed um, terrorists are, they're being controlled. They're being manipulated. They're under mind control. They're being triggered to do what they are doing here. This terrorist attack is happening. This, this terrorist attack is happening. This decision is being made here because of some type of rejection or loss. Okay? And it has to do with rigged voter booths that's going to cause conflict. That's tied into this election fraud. It's very clarified danger, disaster, and destruction. Danger, disaster, and destruction with the release card. Somebody's under contract to do this. Somebody is, has, is literally under contract. This is Saturn energy, Satan energy. This is contracts, careers, commitments, and to dare, tear us apart. Somebody's under a blood contract. Somebody's taking some type of satanic oath. Whoever is being, whoever is being used, deployed to hijack this plane is going to wind up dead when it's all said and done. This person is under contract here. And this death card here is number 13. 13 is the number of rebellion. It's very clear by election fraud. Clarify election fraud with the eight of air. Election fraud. So, ooh, this card says karma, balance, and justice. The government isn't behind this election fraud. I'm, I'm just going to tell y'all plain and simple. But how they're going to, this shit is, this is foul here, okay? Because the eight of swords could literally talk about someone being in prison, stuck, restricted, unable to move or get out of the situation, somebody being locked up, or somebody, somebody just being stuck in a situation. This karma balance and justice card, this is like seeing the justice card in a traditional tarot deck, which means sometimes somebody is dealing with some type of legal situation. Being stuck in a situation because of a legal situation or even being imprisoned here. This is how they're going to pull off. This is how they're planning to pull off this election fraud. This is going to make a lot of people pissed off. This is what is you being used to fuel this terrorist attack. This hijacked plane situation. And this is all tied into you got to fight for your rights here. Spirit clarify rigged voter boost. Rigged voter boost with the five of air. Rigged voter boost.
there's a particular party. This says party and external here. There is a particular party, obviously, that is behind this rigged voter booth. I keep seeing this masculine card, present energy here. This could be a masculine that they use to hijack this plane. There was a feminine energy that was trying to come out of that first deck that I used. Spirit clarify, Rick Voter Boost, Five of Air. So we have Shadow Side, Moon, the Dark Night. This is like the Moon card. We know that the Moon speaks to secret things, hidden things, what's done in the dark, cover ups, decisions being made, illusions being created, shady people, dirty dealings, okay? Um, criminal activity something is going on behind the scenes behind closed doors behind people's back back excuse me with this rigged voter boost okay this terrorist attack is literally being triggered by this this rigged of this election fry by this rigged uh, voter boost here because something is going on in secret and it's going to cause a whole lot of conflict here y'all got toxicity bound and patterns at the bottom of the deck this is like the devil energy here spirit clarify this five of water here clarify uh decisions so this this disappointment this regret this sadness this loss these deaths Persons in power abusing their money, their power, their privilege and authority to bully others in submission is because of these, they're the ones that's making the decisions. And it's going to bring about sadness and loss, disappointment and regret. It's going to bring about deaths. Some type of contract. Something is in a contract. This says trust, divine timing. So something is already being plotted, planned, schemed. As to when, where, what day, what time, what area. This is happening in the U.S., obviously. This is also being done by American. Someone who's American. There's going to be a lot of disharmony, triggers, and conflict over this. This is a toxic situation. There's toxicity, um, a lot of dark, demonic, evil, wicked, sinister energy all over this. This person who is going to be used to hijack this plane, this terrorist attack, this person is bound to the devil, the chain to the devil. They're being triggered to undermine control. Okay? This is coupled with Mercury energy here, which talks about travel, messages, communication. This person is planning to to travel, to hijack this plane, to 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 push a particular message, communicate something, fighting for their rights here. It's why this terrorist attack is happening here. I know I'm, I'm I'm hearing exactly who 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 this is being done for, who this person is a supporter of, as well as many other people. Uh, going to be highly pissed off. Not a part of this situation, but going to be highly pissed off by this election fraud, by this rigged, uh, these rigged voter booths and and everything. I I I can literally hear the candidates. The tripped out part about it is, is they're going to try to flip it and put this on that person. They don't want this person in particular to have the presidency is why this is happening. They're doing everything in their power to keep this person from having the presidency. That's all I'm going to say about that as a high priestess. Um... Not everything we know we can really discuss. 
So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave that on that. This is this is bad though. This is this is bad. This is a tragic freaking situation. This is tragic. This is tragic, man. This is all bad. We got the four of Michael here. This is like the four of swords. A lot of people may be hurt or injured. Um, somebody is under some, 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 um, somebody, the person who is being used, who's going to hijack this plane, this person is, um, probably going through, is sleep, sleep deprived or going through or, or dealing with some type of insomnia. Because this person needs sleep, needs time off. This person needs some type of relief from stress. So they're definitely heavily stressed. And they're not sleeping. This person is, is way wired up. And they're, they're being controlled. There's a lot of persons going to be hurt in this. Ace of Michael. This is like the Ace of um, Swords. What I'm telling you is the truth. It's the clarity. I ain't got no reason to make it up. Like you can't even fathom this. This is happening because of the seven of Michael, which is the seven of swords, lies, deception, manipulation, lying, cheating, stealing, the election, people sneaking and creeping around trying to get away with something. This is why this is happening. This is also happening because of jealousy with the five of Gabriel. This is like the five of wands that you're seeing here. Jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, competition, which is causing conflicts. It's going to cause annoyances. This is bad, man. This is fucking bad. This is bad. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> this is bad. This situation is going to bring about with the with the ten of Gabriel is going to bring about burdens, hardships, problematic situations, stress, depressions, anxieties, over or people feeling overwhelmed. It's going to bring with the three of Michael. This is the three of Swords. This is going to bring about heartache, heartbreak, sadness, sorrow, misery. Um, They're going to use, uh, they're going to use, it's, it's either, it, there, there's one or two, um, persons here. They're going to use an air sign. I mean, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, not an air sign. They're going to use a earth sign. And possibly a fire sign. There's an earth sign who is communicating back and forth with somebody who's in power and authority. This person is heavily being controlled under mind control. Um, this person is also being paid to do this. To cause this betrayal. This ending. This disloyalty. To get this will of fortune to turn in the favor of another candidate who is running for the election. Mm -mm. That's what's going on here, y'all. I, I wasn't even expecting this shit here to come out. I really wasn't. But obviously, Spirit needed me to get the message across. Um, mm, mm, mm. somebody is under the influence of drugs somebody's being controlled by drugs somebody's going to be heavily under the influence of drugs when this takes place here um, there's definitely murder that's going to happen this person is going it's interesting because I keep seeing something is going to the, the, the person who's going to hijack this plane, this terrorist attack. 
they're going to die in mysterious circumstances. And I keep seeing mysterious circumstances because this person, this person is under contract. This person is being paid to do this. This person is being is under is, is, is under mind control is being triggered to do this because of decisions that has been made. Remember this card that says this that somebody is gonna die under mysterious circumstances. Well my murder mystery card says that as well. Suspicious death. I feel like this is coming out because they're gonna go in, they're gonna swoop in, they're gonna murder this person. So this person can never speak. They're going to murder this person. Yeah. You got the Joker energy here, the fool. Careless, reckless, lifestyle. They're using somebody that they can control. This may even be. This may be somebody young. This may be somebody young. With them having this much control over this person, this may be somebody young. They don't have to be, though. This person is in this full energy, though, like, um... Foolishly taking a leap of faith, blindly taking a leap of faith, uh, you know, foolishly doing something here. This person is heavily under mental conflict here. This person has been paid something. This person is also under the, the, the influence of drugs, which is which which makes them highly triggerable, which makes them um, uh, easily accessible to 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 manipulate. Um, this person is under mental conflict. They're under mind control. It's the mental conflict. They're under mind control. This person is very careless and reckless and lives some type of careless and reckless lifestyle too, which makes them also very vulnerable to being programmed, to being manipulated, to being um, used, to, to, to them being abused. They're going to be triggered to do this here. But this person is going to be murdered in cold blood. It's, it's foul play. It's a setup. It's a cover up. There's plots, plans, and schemes behind this. It's premeditated. It's organized. It's a staged event. This is the blood sacrifice of this person here. And they're liable to tell you anything about this person. Oh, this is some radical, um, crazed, unhinged um, individual um, who's a drug user, who has mental illness. I, I can, I can see the breaking news right now. Okay. I can, I can literally hear it. I know exactly what they're going to say about this person. I'm going to tell you that this person is a drug user, a drug abuser. They're going to tell you this person is mentally ill. They're going to tell you that this person is, um, uh, has some type of mental breakdown because there's some radical craze fan of 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 whom they want the end of the, the candidate that they wanted to win the election. Um, they're going to say that 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 they're even going to try to put blame on that presidential that the, the uh, running candidate that candidate who was running for president I, who I know exactly who it is there's a whole lot of sneaky freaky creepy low down dirty shit criminal activity that's going on behind the scenes behind closed doors behind people's back you have no the fuck idea and because I'm a targeted individual I know they listen to everything and watch everything that I say this is the reason why I'm not saying certain names. This is not. This is the reason why I'm not dropping certain dates and times and things like that. Because when I do that, um, when I speak very specifically about things, they'll they'll switch up. They'll change up. Because they hate for me to be right. This is already plot and planned scheme. This is already uh, orchestrated, organized. It's paid for. There's a lot of money in behind this. They absolutely do not want this candidate to win the election. And this person currently right now, whether you like it or not, got a whole lot of support from some of your least expected um, parties. 
this person, this person, this, this, this person has got individuals in behind them who is not even of legal age to vote. This person has the black vote. This person has um, uh, the, the middle class vote. This person has the lower class vote in most places. This person has the popular vote. This person, like this, like, they don't want this person to win. And I don't have to say no names. And I'm non-biased. I don't have to choose sides because I know what goes on behind the scenes. I know that, uh, you know what I'm saying? They're on the same bird. They're on the same eagle, baby. They may be on uh, 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 different wings, but they're on the same bird. You understand what I'm saying? They're being controlled um, by the same beast system. So I don't have to choose sides. I just cause it like I see it. I'm a visionary, I'm an empath, I'm highly intuitive, I know what I'm talking about. I'm led by spirit. This shit right here, you can't even make up. I mean, you see me shuffle every car. I mean, because I'm an author, I could or soon to be author, I, I could write something like this, but you see me shuffle every card. I, I didn't make this up. You understand? Like, like who would want this? No matter who you, who you rooting for, voting for, you know, whether you for left ring, right ring, uh, you know, whether you for the red, the white, or the blue. You understand what I'm saying? Um, it, don't, it don't matter what party you are for. This is tragic. People are going to be affected by this. People are going to be hurt by this. People are going to lose their life behind this. I don't give a damn what party you're with. This is awful. People are being used and people are being manipulated. Oh, you know another thing? If everything is pointing to me that this is just one person that they're having doing this, but I'm seeing two energies. I'm seeing feminine and masculine energies. Bruh. You listening to this right now, you're probably going to call me crazy. But the reason why, everything is pointing to one them using one person for this. But the reason I'm feeling feminine and masculine energy, bruh. Remember when I told you I think they're going to use a feminine, of, 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 it was a woman that was trying to come out of the first deck that I was using. There was a woman that kept trying to show her face, she kept trying to come out. But when I used the other decks, I was picking up masculine energy. Y'all. They may be using a stud for this. For those of you who are not a part of the LGBT community, who don't know what a stud is, is basically a dominant woman or a, 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 a woman who dresses like a man. This person may look like a man, dress like a man. When it's, but this is a woman. It, this may be a woman. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Because I have a card in this deck. Um, that um, I have a card in this deck. This may be a man. I'm getting two energies. Either if, if, if it's two persons, they're using a woman and a man. And they may be doing this on two different planes. 
If this is if it's only one person and it is a man, he's a feminine man. If this is one person and it is a woman, it is a masculine woman. So I hope I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. I have a card in this deck that says stud life lesbian um because another thing with these sage events like that like how they switched it up a long time ago like years and years ago you know what i'm saying a lot of times when things happen uh, people get their ideal of um who those type of persons may be. Back in the day, before they started switching up different things, you know what I'm saying? When you heard of, say, um, when you heard of, say, uh, 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 um, uh, a terrorist, most of, most of you who are Americans, when you hear terrorist, you automatically assume it to be somebody who is foreign. Back in the day, when you heard of a serial killer, you automatically assumed middle-aged white man. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, just like um, when you heard thug, gangster, gang member, you automatically assumed it to be a black man. You understand what I'm saying? There was certain, but 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 uh, at, at some point in time, they got y'all out of these narratives. When you heard, just like when you heard mass shooter. Um, um, uh, many of you would assume late teens to late 20s, early 30s of a type of a person. These are the um, profiles of these type of people who committed these type of crimes back in the day. But because people began to uh, recognize the uh, signs of certain things, they switched it up. You understand what I'm saying? So, when you hear any one of those categories of people, it can literally be now anybody of any race. You understand what I'm saying? And because times have changed, you are you are seeing, and like, um, if you go back um, in a day and look at certain crimes, um, like say for instance, poisoners. Okay, people who committed crimes and they poisoned people, a lot of times they put a female face on that. You understand what I'm saying? There were certain crimes that was like certain races, but you could not only was it broke down by races, it was broke down by genders. Okay, you have to look at the, the propaganda of today, the agendas of today. Uh, in today's time, uh, we're embracing. Um, LGBT communities and 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 uh, multi sexual type of lifestyles and different persons. Okay, so what are you what you're seeing now is other major crimes that's being committed of all different types of people in in the world now. You understand what I'm saying? Just like when um when like for instance when most people heard of the DC sniper most people probably before you knew who it was most people probably assumed that this was a middle-aged Caucasian man who was doing it a lot of people was thrown for a loop when you realize not only was this a, a African-American man but it was two African-American men it was an African-American man who had a military background as well as he had this teenage boy with him um, who was African American as well? You understand what I'm saying? And it's not to say that African Americans haven't uh, been uh, serial killers before, but they're all in different categories. You understand what I'm saying? Um, um, you know, back uh, uh, in the in the, in the day when they were um, promoting Stranger Danger. Y'all remember, uh, you know, 70s, 80s, you know, the little sneaker creepers that, 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 that had the little Chester Molesta vans and different things. You, you knew what to look out for. You knew what certain things looked like, at least you thought you did. But this is what you were programmed to believe, that these certain type of individuals look like this. You were programmed to believe, oh, rapists look like this, oh, um, uh, uh, groomers, molesters look like this, serial killers look like this, uh, you know what I'm saying? Different categories and different type of people look like this or whatever. Well, they're, they're beginning to change things up. Y'all remember the mass shooting that happened 
there was and it was the first time that I seen them use a stud and I knew this this woman was under mind control and I knew she had been triggered to do something I forget what state it happened in exactly but but um this lady was at work and when they played on on CNN and it, it was it, it made breaking news worldwide okay long story short when they played the playback of this woman and, and her what she was doing leading up to the shooting this woman she was an, not only was she African they changed the whole narrative again okay because when you hear mass shooter most people automatically assume man okay no matter what age you assume man okay and we had heard so many times oftentimes these mass shootings happening at schools um um movie theaters various different places well this one individuals not only did they they double change the narrative not only was this woman black but she was a stud Okay, she and I don't know whether she's lesbian or not, but she was dominant. She dressed like a guy. You understand what I'm saying? She was very um, dominant or tomboyish looking. But they showed this lady, and I knew she was under mind control and had and had been triggered because when they showed the playback of her of the events leading up to the shooting, they showed her leaving her job. And when that woman was leaving her job, she was bawling in tears. Something hadn't triggered her. Something hadn't made her upset or hurt her feelings or something. That woman left her job on her break. She came back. With, was she crying when she left? But she definitely was crying when she came back. When she came back, she left her job. She came back. And when she came back, she, when she had the weapon, she went back into her job. And she shot. She allegedly shot up a whole bunch of people. Now, they double changed the narrative. Not only was the, well, triple changed the narrative. This was a woman. This was a black woman. And this was also a stud slash lesbian woman. You understand what I'm saying? So, they, they began to switch up and change things to, as soon as people get to the point where they, they are, um, you're able to recognize certain things. You're able to figure out what's happening when and, and, and who it might be in different type of things. They spin the narrative on you. You understand? They change it up in some type of way. You know what I'm saying? They have Nowadays, they have young people do things. They have older people do things. They have middle age people do things. They have mothers do things. They have fathers do things. They just have unhinged um, you know, around the way type of people do things. They have mentally ill people do things, or at least if they have claimed they have, um, they have high Q type. Y'all would be surprised as to how many serial killers actually have high Qs or very smart. Um, they have, they, they change up the narrative all the time. So in this day and time, you know, we're embracing the gay communities and different things like that. Now you are noticing that more crimes are not only happening to people who are part of the LGBT community, but they're also using some of these people for these crimes and different things. You know what I'm saying? Like there was, um, uh, there has been like this uptick in uh, things happening with transgenders popping up dead and all of a sudden you know what I'm saying and different things like that they have, there, there's been like this uptick of um, studs having you know these 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 breakdowns becoming unhinged committing some major crimes and we haven't seen this type of stuff before they're they're changing up the narrative and when they change up these narratives they're they're doing this to to um, feed whatever propaganda whatever agenda that they are pushing at the time i said all that to say that like i said y'all either if they use two people in two planes it's a male and it's a female but if they're only using one person this is either going to be a woman who is a stud she's going to be dominant or tomboy she's going to be dressed like a guy uh, or or uh, if it's just one person and they use a masculine, he may be a feminine looking man. Okay? I kid you not. I tell you no lie. Okay? This is a card that I was telling you about. As I was shuffling, I kept seeing this card here. Now, 
you know, I, I without knowing this person personally and more information about this person, I'm not really sure if to, to, to just say this person is lesbian, but you know what I'm saying? Um, this person could possibly be dominant. They could possibly be tomboyish. They could possibly be a stud. If they're a stud, then, then, then they are a lesbian. But I kept seeing this energy. However, it did not matter-of-factly pop out, okay? So this, this very well could be a masculine energy who is doing this. But, um, okay, so now I'm seeing masculine. This could very well be a masculine, okay? But I do keep getting feminine energy, so there may be something that either is young about this person or kind of feminine about this person in some way. Um, this person is is in is under heavy mental conflict. This person is under mind control, and is in 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 and, and this person is also under drugs. This person may be under this mind control because of some type of drugs he's being given, as well as he may also use some type of street drugs and things as well here, okay? Whoever these persons in power that's controlling this person, I'm now seeing reptilians here, okay? Reptilians in power and authority. These are those of them who are in the shadows. Who Those are the individuals who control the people that you see. Who stand before the, the masses, who stand before the people, the, the people that you see who are in power, these are the individuals who are in the shadows, who control them. You understand what I'm saying? They're the ones who's causing this. And it's being done for a purpose. It's being done for a purpose. And there's a whole lot of money in behind this. Okay, guys, I got to get about this energy, honey. I got to light some sage and cleanse the energy up in here, child, because I wasn't even expecting this, child. Okay? But that's what's going on here, guys. I do thank you all for listening and for watching. If you'll be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, for those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine right like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. For any persons who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond 36 or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond or through Zelle, which is tiffanyzigler60 at gmail.com or tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com, okay? Um, as always, guys, y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby son. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch the surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you, or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.